Hey, Will Dahlgren here. Just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the difference between subcutaneous fat and visceral fat. So if you did the test and you're on here trying to get more information about each, each, uh, each piece of data, visceral fat is on there for you and it's gonna be or given to you in a level from one to 20. Now one is you know, the lowest you can absolutely go and 20 is gonna be that, that top end number. So 10 is kind of like the number we wanna shoot for. We wanna be at 10 or below. And then it's like, well, what the heck is visceral fat, right? Why is it important? You know, if you talk to me about it, I always focus on that a little more because the subcutaneous fat just doesn't carry as many risk factors as visceral fat does. Visceral fat is a deeper, it's more dangerous. It's found within our organs. It's kind of spackled in there, if you will. So it's, it's internal. It's not anything that we can see or pinch. It's actually covering our organs internally. And the more we have, the higher we are at risk for cardiovascular disease, heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure. Um, and the list goes on and on and on. Every study you see, belly fat, right? It's, it's that stuff that's really and it's not the stuff we can pinch here on the outside of our bellies. It's that internal fat that's making us uh, at, at a higher risk. So it's something that's really important uh, and we really wanna focus on that. It's based just in my experience on your diets and your genes. I've seen professional athletes have very high visceral fats even though their body fat is relatively low uh, based on their genes. And it was off season, they were not eating so well. So. It can come and it can go pretty quickly. If you have bad, if your genes uh, have you retaining more, more fat in there, if you have family history of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, things like that, you're going to be at a higher risk already and it's gonna be harder to lose. You know, thanks mom and dad, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. And typically the diet will do, will help you more. Like exercise is gonna be a component of that. It just doesn't help quite as much as the diet. Now, when we're looking at subcutaneous fat, all that means is it's the stuff we can pinch. We can see and pinch uh, subcutaneous fat. It's kind of like the unsightly stuff that most of us want to get rid of. But the cool part about it is, it's just not as dangerous. Uh, visceral fat is more dangerous and has more risk factors than the fat that we can see and pinch under our skin. Sure, we don't look as good at the beach, but it, it is not as dangerous for our health. So when I'm you know, thinking about investing in my, my long-term health, I always look at the visceral fat number. Like subcutaneous fat's gonna come and it's gonna go, uh, and again, more based on my diet, but the visceral fat is the one that is going to help me in the long run. So I'm always keeping an eye on that number, and that is the big difference between subcutaneous being right under the skin and then that visceral being internal and found within your organs. So if you have any questions on the differences of the two fats, uh, and where they're found and, and how, they, how they differ from one another. Give, uh, give us a call, get, shoot me an email, happy to help. Just glad you checked out the video and uh, reach out if you need anything else.